Yo, yo, hey, we live. Welcome, welcome back, man, to the Golden Goose DFS show. I am your host, Goose, aka Chandler Blakely, man, here today to bring you some of my favorite plays right now as we as we look at the slate on DraftKings and FanDuel early on this Thursday, man. Last night, ah, the injuries killed me, man. The De'Aaron Fox news destroyed some a lot of my lineups that was in 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 line to cash. So, but you know, it happens, man. It comes with the territory. What are you gonna do? All right? But let's move on to the next day, man. All right, today just my early analysis on the slate, man. This is a juicy five game slate, man. It's a lot of plays, man. I like this slate. Usually smaller slates leave a lot to be desired, but this is a this is a nice five game slate here. Mm. Early on, man, you, it's a lot of plays at point guard, center, shooting guard as well. It's a, a lot of different ways you can build. I know everybody's probably going to be waiting on the Laker news to look for value. Uh, I think LeBron AD plays. I think that questionable tag is just something going, that's going to be there all year. But I think they both play. But you want to start preparing yourself for if they do and if they don't play. Like, have the plays you like if they sit out. And uh, if they don't sit out, have you other value plays that you have in mind. Because that game's at 10 o'clock, so you're not going to hear news for real to after lock and if you don't have it already set up in place to capitalize on it it's not going to do you any good so just have value plays both ways all right like i said early on looking at the slate man it's a lot of way a lot of plays at point guard and center and shooting guard is loaded man i think uh the trouble position tonight is going to be power forward especially if ad does sit man you're gonna have to really dig in and find you Solid plays at the power forward position. I think that's going to be the spot tonight that can put you ahead of the field, especially if someone has a breakout performance from the pack in there. So really dive into power forward and find you solid plays, all right? That being said, I do have a power forward that I think is poised for a nice performance today. So let's get right into my starting five, guys. All right. Coming in at point guard, man. Going D'Angelo Russell, man. It's just, it's just uh no brainer here, man. The highest total on the slate, man. Neither team has good defense. It should be up and down. And D'Angelo Russell looked like he started to find his game. He started to find his shot, you know, last game out. So I think he can keep that production rolling here against the uh, Portland Trail Blazers. You know, Damian Lillard is not known for his defense, so he should, he should have an, a matchup he can take advantage of right here. So, I like D'Angelo Russell today, all right? Going over to shooting guard, guys. We're going to stay in that game and just come back to the other side of it, man. We're going C.J. McCullough, man. You really have to look at C.J. in a different fantasy light this year, man. He's always been a good player, but fantasy-wise this year, he is really – like he and I mean in real life too, he just uh being more aggressive, man. He's taking his play to the next level. His production rates are similar to Kyrie Irving, and they're actually better than Damian Lillard at this point right now in the season. So I think with that being said, you're getting him at a discount from those two plays right there, Kyrie and uh Damian Lillard. You get him at a a little discount here at eighty five hundred and I just told you this is gonna be the highest pay uh, highest total game on the slate. So I like CJ right here, man, to be aggressive against a, a weak Minnesota defense, guys. This could be the real shootout, the late night hammer, whatever you want to call it. This is gonna be the game people are most heavy in, and and I'm okay with picking and choosing my spots where I want to get to in this matchup. All right. Next up, man, small forward today. <clears throat> Here's my early value play, man. A guy I've played on the last couple of slates, and he's really been paying off for me so i'm gonna uh continue to go to the atm if it's gonna continue to print out money and that guy is danny green man you seen him he, he gets the minutes in close matchups man he, he's starting to find his shot and with everybody keying on mb and things like that in the paint i like how doc has him the, the danny green and self curry were great ads for him because if you trapping mb on the block or condensing the paint to stop Ben Simmons for driving. They got shooters on the wings. 
And Danny Green has been finding his tray ball this year. So he's he's shooting he's shooting better than last year already. And I, and I don't even know the numbers. It's just from watching. I can see that he's shooting better. Solid production here. He's not going to wow you, man. You know, he might he might have seven fantasy points in, in, in the first quarter, have 13 at halftime or something, man. He's not going to wow you. And let, like I said, unless he gets hot and they keep feeding him. But solid, man. At 3,700, man. He he I, I he should I got him penciled in for about 20, 20 to twenty five fantasy points and that's gonna be crucial on a small game slate like I said where it's hard to find value especially if all the Lakers guys play like I anticipate so I like Danny Green here in this spot man mm -hmm. power forward my guy I'm going with today man y'all know I like playing different guys that at power four i like putting the rose in here just because it gives you a little different build and the guy i'm putting here today is man slow mo going back to the well here kyle anderson man should be he he struggled his last two contests against a stout lakers defense but we talking about a guy who does a little bit of everything for this memphis squad man he, he'll bring the ball up initiate the offense he's solid in peripherals and him, Dylan Brooks, and Valanchunas are the main three guys. This should be a closer game. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, Cleveland blowing out. Although this year has been crazy, you never know. But I think they get back on track after a couple losses here. He's over a fantasy point a minute, man. He should see 30-plus minutes in this matchup. Like I said, barring foul trouble or blowout or anything. And at that price, at that production, he I see him easily six exit on his value tonight. All right? Moving on, man, to the center spot. Center is loaded today, man. You got Jokic, AD, MB, Drummond. Uh, everybody gonna be on Jared Allen after the performance he put out. He put up last time, man. Uh, Nurkic started to find his game, but the guy I'm gonna go here, man, is a guy I think that's gonna go un overlooked, man. He's right in the middle of pricing. I'm gonna stay in that Memphis game and go Jonas. Valentunis, man. All right. He's a solid. He's he's over a fancy point per minute, man. Solid production. Solid floor. The only problem you got to worry about with, jo with Jonas Valentunis is his minutes, all right? Now, I think his minutes fluctuate due to matchups, you know? Like when they played the Lakers and they brought in AD and uh, Montreal, I don't think he's fleet of foot enough to keep up with those guys. So that's why you only see him getting 25, 26 minutes in those matchups. And even in that 25, 26, match, uh, 25, 26 minutes, he's putting up 30-plus fantasy points in every game down there. So if there was ever a matchup, for Jonas Valen, for Jonas Valanciunas to get thirty minutes, it's this matchup against the big fella Andre Drummond, man. He don't have to. I'm pretty sure he can run up and down the court with Andre Drummond. They're gonna need his size to battle Drummond down there on the boards, man. So I see him getting thirty plus minutes tonight. Like I said, bar and foul trouble, man. You could see a big one. Like I said, he he didn't give you over thirty fantasy points in almost every game, playing twenty five minutes a game. When when Jonah Valanciunas see thirty plus, that's when he started to have his forty and fifty burgers, man, to start to pay off for you. So that being said, I think he's in line to see over thirty minutes tonight, man, in this matchup against Andre Drummond. They're gonna need him, or Drummond's gonna excuse me, Drummond's gonna kill them on the boards, man. So there you have it, right there, guys. My starting five on DraftKings today: D'Angelo Russell, C.J. McCollum. Danny Green, Kyle Anderson, and Jonas Valanciunas, guys. All right, let's get ready to look at FanDuel. And while we're doing that, y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, man. Turn your notification bell on. I'm here every slate, man. If you're watching, please, please hit the likes for me, all right? Let's go to FanDuel, all right? You see I got it up already for you. FanDuel today, point guard. I like Damian Lillard, man. Like I said, it's the fastest paced matchup, man. Minnesota defense is horrible. Dame Lillard has yet to really explode. And 
it, it's coming. It's coming. Sometimes you just got to keep riding the hand. Like, just keep playing the guy. It's coming, man. It's coming. And I like him in this match. I like him priced over here, 9200 I know some of you are saying, <clears throat> why Why would I have McCullum on uh, DraftKings and then not play him on FanDuel? Simply the price, man. If you if you look at shooting guard over here, man, McCullum's at 900 It's not much of a discount from Dame Lil. Like I said, their production is similar, man. And I think Damon Lillard has a higher upside. So over here on FanDuel, I'll gladly, I'll gladly pay the extra 200 in, in hopes of, he, of his, a ceiling game from Dame Lillard, all right? So that that's why I'm on Dame Lillard on FanDuel as opposed to C.J. McCollum, all right? Now, shooting guard, going with the value play, Malik Beasley here, man. You want him? For me, I like to get my value plays. From the high pace games, you know the the cheaper guys in those high total games who should see more shots. If the guys who have solid production at the cheaper prices, those are the guys I want on the higher total games for my value plays. And that's Malik Beasley here, man. <clears throat> solid production. He comes out. He looks to score the ball. I like Malik Beasley in this matchup right here against the uh, Portland Trailblazers. All right, small forward. Once again, another value play, man. Tim Hardaway Jr. All right. He switched to coming off the bench last game, and I actually like that for him because coming off the bench, it lets him have compete, complete control over the second unit, man. He's going to be the main scoring option. And even coming off the bench, he still saw 30 minutes, and I think he's in the closing lineup regardless if he starts or coming off the bench. So whenever I take bench guys, I like guys – they come in with the green light. And I'm pretty sure Tim Hardaway Jr. is going to come in with the green light. Like, if I'm, if I'm taking guys that come off the bench, I get guys like this or like Jordan Clarkson. <clears throat> the guys I know that's going to come in gunning. If they hot, they're going to get more shots and more minutes. If not, they just going to do what they do and go back to the bench. But they're going to have the opportunity, basically what I'm saying. So I like Tim Hardaway Jr. in this matchup here against Denver. All right. Power forward today, man. Going back to my guy, Juancho Hearn Gomez. We played him last time when he had the monster. I know people are going to be on him, but you still kind of have to be for this price right here. Juancho is another guy who comes in. The, he's a, he's an offensive-minded big. He, he's not going to offer much rebounding and assist, but he looks to score. That's why he struggled the first game because he was one for ten. But you see, the last game he had the bigger performance because he got his offense going. So that's what you need from him. And I like guys who are going to – they're going to need all the offensive firepower they can get against this Portland Trailblazer. They're going to get ran off the court. So I like Hearn Gomez today at the power forward, all right? And center, man, going all that value. You got to lock it up with a solid floor, high ceiling, man. Joke is in this matchup against the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks, no real big, no no real body to throw at them unless they're going to play Boban or something. But he hasn't been getting minutes this year, so I don't really see that uh, happening in this game. And it's Jokic, man. He's a triple-double monster right now, man. I guess he's trying to do the Westbrook and average a triple-double this season. But anyway, either way, man, I like Jokic today against the Mavericks, all right? And there you have it, guys. My starting five on FanDuel today. Damian Lillard, Malik Beasley, Tim Hardaway Jr., Hern Gomez, and Nikola Jokic, man. Remember, man, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, man, leave it in the comment section. I do my best to get it answered before lock, you know. And, I'm, hey, I'm here every day, man. It's your boy Goose, man. Y'all have a great day, man. Remember, chances make champions. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Let's go.